The casino expansion plan has been reduced down from three possible new casinos to just one, and it could all be moving forward this week. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis joins us live now with the very latest. Mark. Hi, Keith. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. This latest casino plan would allow a host town to approve a casino first. Then it would have to come back to the legislature for final approval. Both the Mohegan and Mashantucket tribes have said they will likely be laying off thousands of employees if they are unable to expand into northern Connecticut. Today, the tribes issued a joint statement saying this latest proposal will give them the ability to begin the process of saving some of those jobs. This is about saving 9,000 jobs in the state of Connecticut. Um, and we want to uh, ensure that the steps we're taking are the right steps. The state Senate majority leader says the plan is to approve this new version in the Senate tomorrow, send it quickly to the House and then to the governor. The tribes say that if they are going to effectively compete with the new MGM casino in Springfield, they must have a facility in northern Connecticut up and running before it opens at the end of 2017. At least two communities are interested, East Hartford and East Windsor, and both have available real estate right off highway exits. East Windsor actually has three, a long closed cinema complex just off an I-91 exit ramp, a closed down Walmart store also near the interstate, and a long closed banquet hall that is also right next to a highway ramp. East Hartford also has a long closed cinema complex which is just off I-84. What we're trying to establish here is a protection of jobs and revenue for the state. The nearly $200 million in revenue sharing that the state gets from the slot machines is also at stake. A new facility could help stop that erosion. This is a bad deal for Connecticut because it is in essence a job neutral proposition. But advocates say this is not about creating new jobs. It's about saving, saving jobs that it's a sure bet will be lost if nothing is done. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.